This is Vasily Stepanov, a Russian actor with a troubled past. And today, I will analyze his facial features to determine how attractive he is and whether or not he mocks Chico. Vasily was born on January 14, 1986 in Moscow to a poor family. His parents wanted him to be a policeman, but Vasily had other ideas, doing odd jobs and attending law school, before landing the lead role in a massive Russian sci-fi film, Dark Planet almost entirely due to his looks, as he had no prior acting experience. But what seemed like a promising career led to disaster for Vasily, with drugs and mental health episodes leading to him now living a secluded life. I have painstakingly analyzed multiple photos of Vasily and accounted for lens distortion in each one to make sure my numbers are correct and the rating is accurate and I used a complex formula to obtain his final score to see how he stacks up to other models and if he mogs Chico. To start off, we will analyze his eye area. Vasily's eye area is extremely unique, with his eyes being both horizontally wide and vertically long. His eyes are simply large, as you can see from these pictures, and they are bright blue with a completely white sclera, making them stand out even more. Large eyes are a feminizing trait, and they are in sharp contrast to very masculine actors like Ian Summerhalder or Chris Hemsworth. However, his eyebrows are masculinized, as they are thick, dark, positively tilted, and are low set. The eyebrows frame the eyes and are a clear line separating the mid-face from the forehead. Thin or non-existent eyebrows are highly unattractive and can ruin an otherwise handsome face. His canthal tilt is ideally positive, making his eyes appear striking. However, he does have a few notable flaws in the eye area. His eye spacing is unideal, as his eyes are less than one eye apart, and his eye spacing ratio is a bit low, showing he has slightly narrow set eyes. This is a small flaw, and it only leads to around a seven point deduction, with Vasily scoring 90% harmony in the eye area. Next, we will analyze his jawline, Vasily has a defined jawline, as is common among all attractive men, but it has some distinctive characteristics. His jaw width is on the lower end of ideal, giving his face a more feminine look. This is mainly due to his cheekbones being highly protrusive, which is a more feminine trait. His jaw is well shaped from the front, as his jaw frontal angle is ideal, but it could harmonize better with his ipsilateral alar angle. They are 5.1 degrees apart, when ideally they should be closer together for the face to look more pleasing. In spite of his feminine features, Vasily has a wide neck, showing his high testosterone and high amount of muscle mass. His lower third proportion is ideal, however, his chin to philtrum ratio is unideal, with his chin being too long. This flaw is likely due to another flaw in the side profile we will mention later in the video but it is a masculinizing feature, which helps to balance the other feminine features. Vasily scores 85% harmony in his jawline. Now we will examine his overall facial features. From a glance, his overall features look good, but is his harmony perfect? To start, his FWHR is ideal, and he has an ideal mid-face ratio. These ratios are important, as they show his mid-face is neither too squished nor too long. His cheekbones are also high set, which makes sense due to his ideal canthal tilt. Vasily's mouth to nose width ratio is ideal, although his nose tip does look slightly bulbous, which will be deducted in a later section. His bitemporal to cheekbones is good, as well as his overall face shape, but his facial thirds are more interesting. His lower third is just in the ideal range at 36.3% of facial length, while the other two are actually equal. This is ideal and masculinized according to my calculator, but some may see these thirds as slightly unbalanced and his longer than ideal chin exacerbates this look. Vasily scores 100% harmony for his overall facial features and 94% harmony for his front profile higher than Chico's 88% front harmony. If you want a facial analysis like this, you can purchase it from my website. Next, we will analyze his side profile. Interestingly enough, his gonial angle is slightly high. 
This high gonial angle likely causes his slightly long chin, as his face grew a bit downwards and elongated the chin. His mentolabial angle is good, submental cervical is low, and his ramus is long. Vasili has no signs of recession, as his chin extends past his nation. His nose measurements are fairly good, as he has a straight and ideally upturned nose. His nasofacial angle and nasomental angles are both slightly off, showing the nose tip could protrude slightly more. Vasili's side profile also accomplishes something very rare. He passes every lip assessment, something Matt Bomer, Hernan Drago, and Chico all didn't do. His lips are ideally proportioned, and these indicate he has no issues with his bite occlusion. His facial convexities are also ideal, in keeping with his ideal bite occlusion. This is fairly rare as well, with most models failing at least one of the convexities. Now we arrive at Vasili's largest flaw in the side profile, his orbital vector. It is neutral, as he lacks a bit of bone mass underneath the eye, giving him a five-point deduction. Vasili scores 95.1% harmony from the side, making his total facial harmony 94.4%. This is an extremely high score, but is it higher than Chico? Well, Chico only scores 88% total facial harmony, so Vasili has higher harmony, but what about when we add in their intangible measurements? We will look at three intangibles, dimorphism and body fat, features and skin and hair. Vasili fares a little worse in dimorphism as his eye area is fairly feminine, begonial width is on the lower end and his gonial angle is a bit high, taking away from his masculinity. Although he does have some masculine features, notably his facial thirds, dark eyebrows, and he has a low body fat percentage. Considering all different aspects, his dimorphism score is 8.75. Next is his features, which are the hardest to quantify. His positives are his striking blue eyes, juxtaposed against his tan skin, very protrusive cheekbones, hollow cheeks, good agio sal, and good jawline visibility with an antagonial notch from the side. His only negative is a slightly bulbous nose tip, so he got a 9.75. His hair and skin are undeniably great, with no blemishes and a very healthy look. His hairstyle is also so unique to him and gives him a special look, so he gets a 10 for hair and skin. Now, Chico's final rating was an 8.8 .8 out of 10, and Vasili's is a 9.35 out of 10, one in tens of millions, and the third most attractive face I've rated so far, just behind Bomer and Drago. You can get a facial analysis like this from the link in the description. Thanks for watching.